Hey guys and welcome to Top Channel 1 on 1. You know, I'm always out there looking for juicy stuff for you and because you know you scratch my back so I scratch yours. You like, subscribe and uh, comment on my stuff. So um, I always have your back. So today let's look at some amazing stuff that I looked up that I went out there at look for you. Uh, so here we have seven over 700 uh, motion capture data and motion data that you can use directly in Blender. And uh, this is by Notion, no, no tone mockup. Uh, no, no turn mock up. I don't know. I can't pronounce this, but uh, they are an awarding winning motion capture uh, solution. Uh, we and uh, they have been working with a lot of studios out there, so they have a lot of data. So I, I guess when studios like this collect data, they have to put it somewhere, and uh, maybe they have recorded new stuff, and uh, they just want to get rid of their old stuff. So good for us, uh, because we have a library. This is larger than Mixamo. This is uh, the largest library I've seen, and. Uh, they have this uh, also category here. You can uh, t search the bottle type, uh, the different types here. So only one caveat here is that uh, you have to sign up. Uh, it's free, but uh, you have to sign up. I know, bummer. But uh, yeah, just uh, create an account takes about a few minutes, and uh, you can select any of uh, these you will down you want to download. Uh, the downloads are FBX format, uh, so you just select any of these. Uh, they have a, a, a nice animation here, 3D viewport, like uh, what you would see in Mixamo. And uh, they have this robotic Android character that you can look look at, and uh, they have some information about it. Yeah, it's under it's under Creative Commons license, so that means you can uh, I think use it for commercial without attribution. You are free to share, copy, and redistribute the material or medium in any format. Uh, remix, transform, um, upon the material for any purpose, even commercially. Uh, the licenses cannot be revoked. Uh, the licensor cannot revoke these freedoms as long as you follow the license terms, which are basically you can do it, you can use it for whatever you want to use it for. And uh, this is the asset uh, you just hit download, and uh, you will get an FBX uh, file. Uh, so just uh, hit download here. Oh, it's already downloaded here at the bottom. I'm not sure if you can see that. And uh, you can see some of the formats. I let me just get rid of these videos. Yeah, the import is compatible with Cinema 4D iClone. Uh, Unreal Engine, Unity, Motion Builder, Notch, Blender, 3ds Max, and but we only care about uh, Blender around here. So let me just go into Blender here. Uh, so when I was importing this, I found a few issues here. So you see, when you import the animation, it works just fine, uh, at least when you import it. But uh, the amateur or the bonds are pointy instead of uh, importing correctly. Let me first correctly, like, uh, let me first hide this. Let me, I guess this, yeah. This is the normal character you would expect for to work in Blender. Let me rotate it to, yeah, so the default, if you import, let me actually just redo this so that you see how it looks. So if I go under file, import FBX, and I uh, just turn off uh, the settings. So these are the default settings you would get if you're importing FBX. And uh, if I select this and import it, should take a few seconds. Okay, so yeah, you can see the bones are pointing outwards and uh, the animation looks fine. Uh, but uh, when you try to apply this amateur to any character, so I have this character is from, I think, free3dpeople.com. Uh, oh, sorry, 3 people.com and I'm, I'll be leaving a link in the description if you want to check the character out, it's like that. And uh, they come rigged, uh, but uh, let's say you want to use a different rig from uh, from the from this library. And uh, I'm just going to remove uh, this character so that I can go back to the tip pose and rotate this so that I can align uh, this with this character here. Let me just select him, got it selected, just it selected, and uh, I guess I have to reset uh, the pause so that we go back to the default t pause. That's uh, clear all the rotation. And I'm going to rotate this negative 90 degrees. So you can see we have lined up the character. If your character might might not be to scale, uh, so just scale them up or just edit them to fit the character or edit the amateur to fit the character. Whatever you want to do it, whatever way you want to do it. But I'm just going to because this is a demonstration purposes. I'm just going to go through, go in here and just control. P with automatic bonds, it should work. It should work, but uh, you're going to see an issue. You see how they are bonding, they are bending. It, it, it's not correct uh, because uh, the the bonds are pointing in the wrong direction instead of 
uh, pointing in the usual direction uh, that uh, Blender knows. So what you do is you go to File, Import, FBX, and uh, select the same amateur you, you, uh, bone you want to animate, you want to import. And uh, in the amateur here, just select align. Uh, I think you select this third option, uh, which is try to align the major bone axis to the with the bone child, the bone children. Hit that import under the uh, the animation or the character should be imported in with correct alignment of uh, the amateurs which Blender understands. And you can see now uh, the, the models are not, um, are not pointing out as uh, what we had here. So I'm just going to delete this and I just go back here to reposition this and uh, rotate it 90 degrees and uh, go back to edit mode, clear rotation and clear pause. I guess I have to rotate this like this. So now I just, I don't need this anymore. Let me hide that for a second. Just have to. You you, you can again come in back here and uh, you can realign uh, the amateurs because you see the hands are not fitting correctly. But for demonstration purposes, I don't want this to be too long. I'm just going to Control P. Automatic. And now our character, the animation works perfectly. Uh, you can go in and. Uh, to the website and uh, look at uh, the other libraries they have or the other animations they have uh, min two minute walking you can even search uh, you can select by category uh by bio biomechanics i don't know what this is i guess oh this is uh like a robotic animation ah oh, that's that's nice sign language communication let me see what's in communication here ah oh, yeah waving stuff like that is it's way more organized than uh let's see what is this 120 animation uh, it's a walk a two minutes walk wow uh, let's see let's see medieval fantasy medieval fantasy what could that i uh, so it's just a like a fighting Pushing pause, maybe. Uh, let me first remove uh, the others. Communication and uh, biometrics, biomechanics. Sorry, and uh, communication. Ah, so we have a zombie. Ah, a lot of animation. So, no need to animate. You can just import these uh, animated rigs, and uh, they work perfectly in Blender as long as you do the trick that uh, I showed you there. Uh, yeah, so thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. By the way, I have discounted my asset library uh, add-on uh, that I'm using to import my assets uh, into Blend. All these assets I have in my library can just simply import them. Uh, it's uh, 199 now on the Blender Market page. Uh, so Blender Market. And it should also be available to my uh, YouTube members if you want to check those out uh, for free. Uh, if you are a YouTube member, you can download it. And also if you are a patron, you can also download it. Yeah, so thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.